uh, my caravan, the Compass Vantage 444 berth. Um, all in reasonable condition. There's one or two little marks that I'll show you as we go around the caravan. You've got an apartment down here for the leisure battery and the uh, 240 hookup. Tyres in good condition, I'll just give you an idea of what they're like. You get that there. Come up this side, it's got the uh, fresh water container there and the wheel pump. And behind here is the cassette for the Thetford toilet. Just a simple bottom part pulls out, the top part you fill with your pink fluid for flushing and the bottom part fills here with the blue fluid and the cassette just simply slides out push that little yellow lever down and pull it out that slides out ready for emptying and cleaning when necessary down here we have the um, the uh, filter for the fresh water in Down this side is fairly good for its for its age. Let's try and get you a view there. You can have a good look at that. Across the back. The back. There's a little mark here. It has been filled in. Somebody's obviously chipped it at some point. Wastewater container has come in with it as well just hooks up underneath there um, and unfortunately I cracked this lens the other day um, but I am going to go and try and find one that, and hopefully by the end of the auction there'll be, there'll be one with it and on the back here there's just a little slight mark there no bigger than the end of my finger um, all the windows have the uh, security marking for the CRIS register they're all clearly marked up so if you want to re-register it and uh, if it gets stolen or anything and it gets found it's registered to you and it can come back to you all very good down this side light above the door that works and it's the uh, barn stable type door so the top section opens and you can have the bottom section closed comes with a step this tyre down here is in uh, good condition I'll give you a little shot of that and then tread left on them and life in them. A little bit of a the rail for the um, for the caravan awning just slightly buckled out there but if just a simple case of just tap it back if it bothers anybody but it's never bothered me. Like I say it's the four berth on in very reasonable condition. And down in the front compartment there's uh, a gas bottle, 240 hookup, um, leg winder, spare wheel down in here, gas bottle there, that's quite full, not just quite sure how much there is in it but there's gas in it, um, and there's the hookup lead, about, about 40 feet long, spare wheel, and down here, Winder for the for the caravan legs. So there you have it with the outside. It comes with the the hitch lock. Wheel for the jockey is very good. Handbrake works. So there you have it. That's the outside shot. The caravan also comes with this uh, Ben Nevis outdoor trail half awning. Just simply clips around the, the, the rail of the caravan and over the top. And then you have these three poles. There's a pole in this seam here that goes over the top to that far corner. There's a pole that runs from there down to this bottom corner. And then there's one pole 
that runs right around the edge of the tent. So you have three poles, two long ones and one short one. The short one is the one I'm pointing at now. This is the awning, it has uh, windows and doors. It isn't pegged down properly at the minute, but it's very easy to put up. Only, only takes about 10 minutes. Like I say, it's a half, half, half size awning, good awning. I've not pegged it down properly because it's only for demonstration purposes. You can see it from this side. So there's a door in this end and a door in the far end and we'll just go inside and have a quick look. As if by magic that door's opened itself. Inside it has curtains. Get back curtain that you attach, roll up and attach onto these. So this curtain will roll up. One there. A, a, a panel that opens up here that zips down so you can open the front and you can have the sides open and use it as a gazebo as well. So there you go, that's the awning. And we'll go inside next and have a look. So as you come into the caravan, um, there's a light above the door which works. And if you watch the video you'll see the, the awning and this lights up the inside of the awning. It's the stable door, um, so it, it'll come in come into two sections, you can have the bottom half closed like that and the top section open. Um, on the back of this door, on the window, there's the uh, blackout blind. All the windows inside, they have fly nets, blackout blinds and, uh, and curtains. And you come into the caravan, come into the caravan to the rear you've got the uh, seating area with the, with the table now this makes up into the um, bottom bunk and the tabletop goes in the middle to form the base this up here this section here lifts out to make the top bunk which sits on there and on there and I'll set that up after so you can see it and there's also, it comes with its the, the ladder to get into the bunk and also the curtain to uh, privatise this area up on this rail here. All the lights work, all the 12 volt lights lighting system works, this one works. So from the bunk you've got, um, you come round to the uh, shower and toilet area. It's a Thetford cassette toilet as we showed earlier. And in here, if, if, there's a skylight here for ventilation. Then you have the shower down this side, and the taps. I'll turn the tap on. The hot water gets really, really hot in this caravan. And if we just get, maybe just see that filming that, that up the head. Yep, that's the hot water. That gets really hot. Turn that off. Got the cold water got a wet hand now. Cold water working at the shower head. Turn that off. And there's a, and there's a shower curtain rail here that runs all the way around but it, when I got it it didn't have a shower curtain I've never bothered putting one in. Uh, the the light in the in the toilet shower room works. Vanity unit there at the top with a couple of glass doors. Going down to the toilet this is the, oh, this is the uh, Flip forward sink, taps there as well, and to drain it you just tip it back, tip it into place on the way the water goes. Thetford toilet, lid up, this andalia is to flush, and this andalia opens up there up so the waste runs away. All working, all in good condition. Shower base and the all the walls are nice and dry. There's no water comes in this caravan, there's, there's no damp in it, no rot. All very 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 good. 
the next door to the shower. See, you have the toilet and shower there. Then next door is this wardrobe. You have a rail above for hanging things. Um, and a base at the bottom. And then this lifts up. And there's an area there where you can put bags and things. And as you can see, that's the uh, bag for the awning with the awning in it. Below the wardrobe is the gas fire. This fire is turned on. Uh, this is working on the gas perfectly fine. Nice and hot, makes this caravan really, really toasty inside. Then opposite the fire and the toilet area is the cooker and the fridge and the sink. And I've got the cooker turned on. Can we see that the rings are burning? All these rings are lit. The grill's on. Awkward trying to film in here. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bothering. Yeah, I've got the grill on there, see that lit. Take my camera out before it melts. And the oven's on. All really nice warm and toast. I'm going to turn this off because it's red hot now in here. And this this uh, this hob has a glass lid. on that as a glass lid. I'm going to put that back up because it then rings it very hot now. Next to the cooker below is the uh, the oven then you have the fridge you have the sink here little clip behind to hold this back draining board and sink swivel tap Hot water, that works, very hot, cold water, working fine, the fridge, the fridge at the minute is, uh, is working on gas and I'm going to let you look inside, so you've got the door there with the usual storage areas freezer box that's nice and cold and you've got the inside of the fridge and if I can just get my camera up into there you should see that the gas is lit maybe you can see maybe you can see it in there maybe you can't but it, it, it is lit on oh there it is it is lit on the gas at the minute which I'm now going to turn off. So you've got um, this side is your temperature control for your gas and the igniter. That's now off. And on this side you have the temperature setting for the fridge again um, and the 240 hookup. That works brilliantly. Uh, tried the 12 volt but I've never had it working on the 12 volt but never needed it because I was been on site. I was hooked up to the mains. I bother flattening the battery. So inside, all the lights are working. You have the light above the toilet there in the shower room. Light at the back works. This light works. That light's on. This one's on, all working. Spotlight underneath there working. Spotlight underneath there working. And like I said, they all have uh, fly nets. Other ones are fly nets, the blackout blinds, blackout blinds, and then of course they have the curtains. This blackout blind on this side, um, it just won't quite go up properly, but it, it, it comes down all right, as does the fly net. <clears throat> then here you've got the uh, a table, this slides out. Falls back, makes you a decent sized table there in the front. 
pulling this back over, slide it in. A couple of, couple of drawers, or oh, 2p there, well I'm rich. A couple of drawers, that's the zig unit for charging the, uh, the battery etc. Working okay, plug, plug socket's lit, and can you see that little green light on the top there? Can I get that? Showing that the, that unit's on, that's working fine. All the usual big storage areas under the seating. Access uh, door there, same at this side. Plenty of storage space. An access door. And then this pulls out to, to bring the base of the bed across here on laps. And then of course, the, you put the cushions down to make the double bed at the front. Little dinky table in this corner. Falls up, falls up and out the way. Look with the curtain, push that back up. Uh, clip it down there, stars away, plug socket there, that works, plug socket at the, at the back which is working, hot water, I've got the hot water running on the 240, 240 hook up, um, simple system Turn this switch on first, and click the top switch on, green light comes on, that means that it's heating the water up. Works great, gets absolutely red hot. 240 volt plug socket, all the 240 volt plugs work in it, I think there's three in this caravan. Um, plenty of storage space above, three cupboards there across the back. Storage here above the sink, and in there you have a rack that will hold cups and plates, shelf above the cooker, then you've got your usual cupboards all around the, down this side, shelf there and cupboards up this side. Simple control unit, um, 12 volt on caravan battery, 12 volt charging when you're towing it with the car, Two. Uh, switches for the lights and the water pump and a couple of auxiliary switches. So there you have it. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to put the bunk up then you've seen everything. So we've now got the bunk made up. Um, bottom bunk, little step ladders up which attach to a little rail across here and then we've got the top bunk here. Remember this came from up here, so it slides out, you concertina it out, fit it on the ledges and secure the two bolts, one at this side and one at that side, so that it doesn't fall off. And there we go, that's the top bunk. Top bunk. Bottom bunk. And underneath here, you'll see that this that this bottom bunk is supported on laps and these are normally stored in one of the cupboards somewhere coming with the caravan so they'll all be there ready and available right well there we are there you have it you've now seen the caravan um, pointed out everything about it it's a good little caravan plenty of life left in it there's no saggy floors uh, no damp ceilings no rot no, no mould, none of, none of the usual rubbish you can get with a lot of caravans. Very, very usable for a family of four. Plenty of life left in it. Well, thank you for watching this video um, and speak to you soon. Bye for now.